Think of the best leaders and entrepreneurs that you've met. I'm sure you would agree that there's something very special about them. Hi there, my name is Paul Tanton and I'm from a company called Uvita Crafting Leaders. I call myself a leadership entrepreneur. Where does the name come from? Well, I use leadership principles to develop entrepreneurs and entrepreneurial principles to develop leaders. Every month of June, which is Youth Month, I use a number of power phrases and each day we repeat the letter of each power phrase. And it consists of 30 words, so there's one for each day. And this month is no different. Today we start the third in the series. And the power phrase is preparing leaders to lead well. If you're interested in receiving an email with this letter or on the power phrase every single day of June, please subscribe below and you'll be able to get the letter each afternoon at about half past 12. The first word in the power phrase, preparing leaders to lead well, is preparing. And we're going to run through each of those. Let's start with a P. P is positioning. If you want to position yourself to be a great leader, you need to surround yourself with people who are great leaders. We have too many examples of bad leaders out there. Search for that good leader that you respect and ask him perhaps to mentor you. The second one is R. And here we want you to release. Release some of the bondages that we have. A lot of these come from self-limiting beliefs. Things that maybe a teacher said to you one day. You can't be a great leader unless you release that. The third letter is E for engage. Wherever we are, we need to engage in what we're busy with. I meet too many people who are either on their phones, busy looking past the person, or sort of caught in thought somewhere while they're talking to someone. You must engage with people. If you don't engage with people, how can you lead them? The fourth letter is P for plan. Whatever you're doing in life, you need to plan. It's not going to happen. It's one of those things, life happens if you don't plan, it's going to happen if you do plan. The challenge is you want to lay something out so it's going to meet the plan that you set and not the plan that anyone else has set. Letter number five is A. A is articulate. I have met a couple of great speech writers and orators, people who can really give a great speech and it just is so convincing when they talk to you and you can hear and you really get their message the first time. So as a great leader and you're preparing other leaders to lead well, you need to be able to articulate clearly what you are saying. The sixth letter is R for reinforce. This is where we want our message reinforced. We've got to keep telling people what we are, are doing and, and reinforce the thoughts and ideas that we have. People are not prepared to listen to ideas, but we have to carry on. We have to encourage people and have people encourage you as well. That's the reinforce. The seventh letter is I, and that is to innovate. I've yet to meet a great leader who doesn't innovate. Innovation is one of the key areas where we find different ways to do things. Think of the technology that's happening around us. I encourage you to innovate your own life in the way that you do things. Letter number eight is N. And this is, I want people to take notice of what's happening around them. We live in a life where we don't actually live the day as a day. We are thinking about the next day. We're thinking about new things all the time while we're with someone special, someone we love. So if you're not noticing and taking notice that moment, you're missing that opportunity. Finally, the G in preparing is giving. Giving is one of the most important aspects of leadership. You, if you're not giving to people, you're not helping them into, only if they want help, but if you're not giving your time and just being with them, you're not investing in the future. So that is the word preparing. I trust that this has been helpful for you and watch out for the next letter, which we will make a short video on as soon as we have finished with that.